So this is quite a funny, stringy spaceship. I haven't done anything like this for a bit. It actually, the easiest way to draw these things is, is to not even think about it, and not even pay attention to it. Yeah. And then I think inside you have a reservoir of, of um, forms. And when you draw one form, it sets up another one. I can only assume that's what it is. So when you, when I look at the paintings, they seem mm -hmm. a bit sort of, um, what's the word, melancholic. Mel yeah, it's funny because you know this one I'm doing still, um, what's it called, the Dot Smith one that I'm doing the big painting of. That's a very dark painting. Well, I don't know what to say about that. Would you agree with that or not? Uh, or does they seem happy and yeah. joyous to you? Well, I, they, they're, both of those are not not expressions I would use for my type of cover. Hmm. You know, I wouldn't even give it that sort of um, humour, if you like, for want of a better word. Um, you've got to remember, I was always obsessed with the black of space. So, in a way, the paint I used, that... that Gouache did make for a rather dull colour image. It wasn't bright and vibrant, you know. And that was actually probably quite a bright view. It's just that, um, uh, you, you know, when you paint it in gouache, it just doesn't seem to come out particularly brightly. But the the feeling, the you know, the, there's always sort of a sense of um, isolation. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you say? What, what, in what sense? Well, um, treat. Um, yeah. I suppose other other artists at a similar time would say draw peop a few people in a landscape. Yeah. And, and they're sort of relating to each other, or there's a monster coming. And, and yes. Whereas yours always seem very. Uh, to me, they seem very isolated. The, the well, the machine was the thing. I mean, the object in the foreground was always the most important mm. thing. So in a way, I still think of them as being abstract pictures, that the shape of the ship is actually a sort of abstract form. D does that make sense? It's almost like the, the spaceship... the ship itself is mm. the star. That's it, so the, the yes. spaceship is almost the person. Yes, and, and so of course now when I do artwork, it's much more person-orientated, so it's, it's difficult to relate to some of these early pictures. Mm. So do you think, because your personality's changed? Oh, very much so. So doing that repaint of the Doc Smith's been a nightmare, because obviously um, you go forward, and I've actually had to try, and because the client is in the most insistent that it looks so like the original, it, it, you literally had to go back in time. It's been the most peculiar thing. And of course, historically, you just want to go forward. So would you sort of be happy to leave the sci-fi alone altogether or...? Oh no, I'm drawn back to it, but from a much more different angle, you know, mm. it's a... Um, oh no, quite happy still to do it, but but um, I would... I'm feeling my way, because it's only fairly recently that we've, we've started doing all this, and, and so, I mean, I've got ideas, but, but they change all the time. And what would be the angle that's different to, to now than... Well, than I, I would do now figures in a landscape. There would be a figure which is much more prominent in a modern painting. Mm. You know, I'm thinking of it much more as a figure, mm. mainly because I've got more command of figures now. You know, it's in those days, I, um, it took me forever painting figures. I used to have huge problems painting figures. That's why I love the spaceship paintings. They were so easy. Mm. Loved it. Mm. Because in those days it was work, so you did something knowing that then you could knock off. So you liked it when you got something finished and you'd go, I don't know, you probably don't remember, I used to work all through the night at the house sometimes. You know, it's, um, just, just drawing this together. You'd be working through the night because you'd, you'd taken on so many jobs. Yes, yes. And also, it, it was very slow sometimes. You know, sometimes my technique was... I, I had quick techniques and I had slow techniques. Mm. 
Yeah. Sometimes the paintings wouldn't work. Exactly. I mean, I'm looking at this one thinking of how I would modify that now. How would you modify it? Oh, that would be a huge, gigantic rock with the light coming out of the centre of it. Mm. That would be a massive rock with this light shining in. That would have told more of a story. The rock. Yes. But you see, these covers go, I mean, you're looking at a, a completely different attitude of mind. I think people need to judge them in the context of the era in which they were painted.